Hi, I'm Toshi Maeda and welcome to JStories, where ideas and technology from Japan help solve global social and environmental problems. Here's a quick look at this week's JStories. The vast majority of clothes are designed for able-bodied people. So wheelchair users, people with prosthetic limbs, and those with non-typical body forms often struggle to find fashionable clothes that fit. But one Tokyo startup aims to provide truly inclusive fashion without compromising on style. It lets customers mix and match from a huge range of designs and sizes to order clothes perfect for them. The company, called Solid, designed their apparel system together with medical professionals and other researchers. They also received feedback from a diverse range of people via social media about their personal experiences buying and wearing clothes. The company has also started working with a hospital in Osaka, saying it wants to design fashionable clothes patients can enjoy wearing whatever their illness or treatment. Wind power is vital as the world shifts to a renewable energy future. But seasonal storms in many regions can wreck conventional turbine propellers. A Tokyo startup has developed a propellerless turbine that is one and a half times stronger than existing designs. What's more, the turbine is quieter and less likely to injure birds because of its structure. It features two vertical tubes that use the Magnus effect to generate electricity. That's the same phenomenon that makes a baseball curve in flight. The company, called Chalenergy, is already working on offshore turbines, and it has plans for a giant turbine that could generate 10 times as much electricity as conventional designs. The wind energy startup hopes to commercialize its propellerless turbines by 2025 and is looking at markets across the globe. As international competition for propellerless wind turbines is heating up with the Spanish startup taking the lead, we may soon see these turbines standing up to typhoons in East Asia, hurricanes in the Americas, and cyclones in the Pacific. That's all for this week from JStories. Please visit our website at jstories.media for more details on these stories. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more solutions and inspirations from Japan.